In this video, we will talk about what is a carrier drift in semiconductors. Drift, that definition, is charged particle motion in response to an applied electric field, as shown in the first picture. Within semiconductors, the drifting motion of the carriers can be described as follows. First, when an electric field E is applied across a semiconductor, the electric force on the carriers will accelerate the positive Q charged holes in the direction of the electric field and the negative Q charged electrons in the direction opposite to the electric field. Second, however, the accelerated holes and electrons collide with ionized impurity atoms and thermally agitated lattice atoms. This results in the carrier acceleration being frequently interrupted. In this case, the carriers are said to be scattered. Third, the net result is a carrier motion generally along the direction of the electric field, but in a disjointed fashion involving repeated periods of acceleration and subsequent decelerating collisions. This microscopic drifting motion of a single carrier is complex and very tedious to analyze. Fortunately, the microscopic phenomena are measurable quantities that show the average motion of one carrier type, be it either positive Q charged holes or negative Q charged electrons. Averaging over all electrons or holes at any given time, the drifting motion of each carrier type can be described in terms of constant drift velocity Vd. In other words, on a microscopic scale, drift can be imagined just as all carriers of a single type moving along at a constant velocity in a direction either parallel or anti-parallel to the applied electric field. However, it is very important for us to point out that the drifting motion of the carriers is actually superimposed upon the always present thermal motion of the carriers. Electrons in the conduction band and holes in the valence band gain and lose energy where collisions with the semiconductor lattice and are nowhere near stationary even under equilibrium conditions. In fact, under equilibrium conditions, the thermally related carrier velocities average over about one thousandth of the speed of light even at room temperature. However, the thermal motion of the carriers is completely random. Therefore, the thermal motion averaged to zero on a macroscopic scale does not contribute to electric current transport and can be conceptually neglected.